turns. Joe Metal in superior finish. A little bit out on their own. Jerry Scott wanting those heads off the tape. This looks a possibility. Yes, they're away. And racing towards the Melling Road. And as they do so, Captain Dibble goes on from Bavardier on the outside, Young Hustler with superior finish right up with them as well, and then comes Sir Peter Lely Bavardier on the inside over on the far side, Young Hustler right up with them with superior finish and Peter Lely, and now two brownies three brownies coming to join them, and over to John Hammer. And Young Hustler is just about in the lead as they jump the first from Shaw Metal towards the outside, all the leaders over safely there's one down towards the back, which is Bavardier and there's another one down too as they jump the second and Shaw Metal in the lead from the three brownies on the near side then Sir Peter Lely, superior finish, Young Hustler and the other fall of Bishop's Hall meanwhile over the third it's Shaw Metal in front of three brownies and then looking back there's a faller towards the back which is party politics meanwhile at the fourth Shaw Metal the leader and over to Jim McGrath and Shaw Metal it is who leads over there from three brownies and right up there on the outside showing dashes over the deal Wild Hyde is there as well and just behind them is Sir Peter Lilly as they go to number five Son of War the Grey is beautifully poised behind the leaders Young Hustlers not that far away from the pace as they all got over that one okay and Chatham has refused at the tail of the field as they head towards Beaches Brook for the first time and the leaders here, right up in the centre, Shaw Metal in company there, with on the near side three brownies up there as well, Sir Peter Leedy. They're followed by Green Hills Raffles as the leaders got over it okay. In fact, they're all over beaches okay. And three brownies for Paul Carberry shows the way to the Point Haven fence from in second placing Shaw Metal. Then in third on the inside, Green Hill Raffles, followed then by Sir Peter Leedy. Next in the field is Young Hasta, who's up there hacking on the outside in fifth. They're followed by over the deal, superior finish on the inside of Wild Hyde as they come to the canal turn. Son of War not that far away. Then Life for a Lord back in the field as they clear the canal turn. From the back is Brackenfield, followed then on the inside by into the red. Well back in the field is Rust Never Sleeps from Deep Brandle as they go now to Valentine's. And the leaders got over it safely. Among the tail enders is on Cora and Per Lusty Light. And well back in the field, Vicon the Valmont with Captain Dibble as we rejoin John Hanmer. And coming to the tenth, and the leader, Shaw Metal. In second place, three brownies. Then Young Hustler on the outside. The back market streaming over. Didn't see a faller there as they come to an open ditch. Fence number 11, and it's Shaw Metal from Young Hustler. Three brownies, then over the deal. They're followed by Sir Peter Lely, then Greenhill Raffles, then Wild Hyde, superior finish. And just behind them, Life of a Lord, as they come to the 12th fence. Shaw Metal's going to take it in front of Young Hustler, Bishop's Hall. Then over the deal comes next. And just in behind them comes Sir Peter Lely, then Green Hills Raffles, superior finish, Wild Hyde, Life of a Lord, Riverside Boy, Deep Bramble, then Rough Quest, Brackenfield, and they're followed by Son of War. Behind Son of War is Encore and Purse, made a bit of ground, then Rust Never Sleeps and Antonin. Behind them comes Into the Red, and then a gap to Far Senior and over the stream, and then Lusty Light and Vicomte of Valmore, and Captain Dibble as they go to the next and over to Peter O'Sullivan. And still blazing the trail. Three brownies on the inside of Shaw Metal. These two, Shaw Metal and three brownies, with Young Hustler prominent in third. They've got a loose horse between three brownies and Young Hustler. Shaw Metal coming to this. The cheapskin nose band lands just in the lead from three brownies. Then comes Young Hustler just in behind them. Green Hill Raffles is next and then over the deal. And then Superior finish. Russ Never Sleeps has been pulled up. Coming to the next, and still Shaw Metal, Young Hustler, and three brownies. They're heading on the far side, Sir Peter Lely. Golden uh, Greenhill raffles well up there, too. Son of War, the grey over on the far side, being followed by Into the Red and Riverside Boy. And this is the chair and three brownies. And Shaw Metal and Young Hustler, the three leaders, and going smoothly in, in the lead. And they're all over the chair and coming down to the water. And as they come to it, three brownies landed in the lead from Young Hustler in second. Third was Shaw Metal. Fourth, Sir Peter Lely. Five on the inside is Greenhill Raffles. And on the outside then is 
into the red. Behind them come Riverside Boy and Brackenfield. And then getting closer is Son of War. Then on the outside is Life, uh, Life of a Lord. Just in behind Life of the Lord and traveling well is Rough Quest moving towards the outside. But still, it's Young Hustler, Three Brownies, Shaw Metal, Brackenfield. And Green Hill Raffles disputing it as we rejoin John Hanmer. Coming to the 17th, three brownies on the inside with Young Hustler. Brackenfield's right up there too. Towards the outside, Life of the Lord and Rough Quest making ground. Far Senior's tailed off and so to be gone to Valmont as they come to the 18th. Young Hustler disputing it. Over the deals right up there too. Then Life of the Lord on the outside, three brownies on the inner, then comes Son of War. Sir Peter Lely's right there, so is Brackenfield. Deep Bramble and Rough Quest are right on turns. Then into the red, over the 19th, an open ditch. And it was Young Hustler who landed in the lead there. Brackenfield has fallen. And as they go to the 20th, it's Young Hustler, three brownies, Sir Peter Lely. Then Riverside Boy who's made ground and over the deal. And here's Jim McGrath. And Young Hustler in the centre, running the race of his life. Up there in the van here from Riverside Boy and Sir Peter Lely. On the near side, three brownies. And further out then is over the deal from Life of the Lord. Rough Quest is going very wide as they go to the 21st. Riverside Boy went through the top of that. The Grey Son of War about 10th position on the inside here of Over the Stream. Superior finishes out very wide with Rough Quest as they come now towards Beaches the second time. And it's Young Hustler who leads them out in the centre by a couple of lengths here as he comes to Beaches and jumped it well. From in second placing, Sir Peter Lely. Then in third on the inside follows three brownies from Encore and Purr, who starts steadily making ground. And uh, back towards the rear as they go towards the next life of the Lord, gets through that from Riverside Boy. They're followed then by Over the Deal. Further back is Deep Bramble, Superior finished, Son of War starting to make some ground. Rough Quest is uh, in centre field, has lost ground. Uh, Far Senior's been pulled up as they go to the canal turn. Further back in the field is Wild Hide as they go over that one. And Son of War has gone and seated the rider there. Well back in the field is into the red from Captain Dibble, Vicon de Valmont. They're followed then uh, back in the field by Green Hills Raffles as they go over uh, Valentine's now. And Lusty Light is last of all. Wild Hyde has gone there. And second last short medal as we rejoin John Hanmer. And they've got five to jump. And Young Hustler led over that one from Encore en Pur. Then Sir Peter Lely right there. Just in behind them on the inside. Three Brown is still there. Then... Life of a Lord and Rough Quest who's made grand. The last open ditch, four out and on four on per. Standing just in front of Young Hustler, then three brownies to Peter Lely. Life of a Lord, Rough Quest, the gap to Deep Bramble and Superior finish. And then over the deal as they jump the third last. And three brownies on four on per and Young Hustler took it together. They're clear of Rough Quest. Then comes Sir Peter Lely, Life of a Lord, Deep Bramble, Superior finish over the deal, Riverside Boy and over the stream, and they're well clear of Antonin, and as they've crossed the Belling Road now with two to jump, and it's back to Peter O'Sullivan. And it's close up front with three brownies still the leader. On the outside nearest to us, travelling very discreetly is Encore Rampo, who's gone second ahead of Young Hustler, who's third, the top weight, and then still making ground is Rough Quest in fourth. In behind uh, Rough Quest is uh, Sir Peter Lely. Behind Sir Peter Lely is Life of the Lord. But as they come down now to the second last fence in the national, it's Encore Rampo who's going to land in the lead from three brownies and Young Hustler and Rough Quest. Still making steady progress. They're coming down now towards the final fence. And it's Encore Rampur, the leader. It looks as though Rough Quest is going to be the challenger. Encore Rampur over it. Rough Quest over it. Second. Young Hustler's over it. Third. Three bodies. Four. Racing towards the elbow. And it's Encore Rampur from Rough Quest. Encore Rampur written by David Bridgeboro from Rough Quest. Rough Quest coming to tackle him towards the near side. Rough Quest. Second is now striding away, and Rough Quest is going to win the 1996 National. Rough Quest comes up to the line to win it. Rough Quest is the winner. Encore on third is second. It's going to be very close for third. And at the line is a photo with Sir Peter Lely possibly just getting up to be to hit superior finish and young hustler. Sir Peter Lely probably third, just ahead of superior finish and young hustler. But it's a photo. Fourth, third, fourth and fifth places, but no doubt about the winner. A brilliant performance this by number seven, Rough Quest.